Rain. Weather from where you live. Yeah, I saw my first daffodil in bloom today at Purdue. I was so excited because it's been such a long winter around here. Speaking to a great group of international students there. And notice the red golden color even on this silver maple tree along the Wabash. They are blossoming now. So red maples coming out and the American elm starting to bloom and the Siberian elms. So uh, Siberian elms. Uh, so the pollen's coming up. That'll get washed away by rain as we get late in the weekend, early next week. Warmer than normal weather, especially Saturday, but a wetter pattern. In fact, starting Saturday night right through next Thursday, a total of two to three inches of rain will likely fall with the heaviest rain of all that likely Wednesday. Tonight, 30s area wide from the 34 at Akron, Rochester and Logansport to 37 Lafayette, Crawfordsville and 36 at Remington and Rensselaer. Tomorrow, nice day. We'll just have a backdoor cold front coming in from the north and northeast. So only 54 Rochester. We're pushing those mid 60s of the southwest, 65 Covington, 61 Lafayette and 64 Ladoga and 57 at Burlington. But Saturday front goes back north. It's windy and warm, 71 Lafayette, 72 Covington and 67 degrees at Logan's Port. Now tonight we're in good shape, mostly clear skies, very light uh, north wind at least for a while. There's 419 AM. Now that will be as a little backdoor front slides in. See those clouds kind of skimming in from the northeast. That front will go through. That'll cut our temperature a little bit from what we are expecting for tomorrow, but pretty stiff northeast winds. We'll call it mostly sunny, but notice how the arrows flip back around as we get into tomorrow night. The front goes back north and we'll have some high and middle level clouds streaming in. So Saturday, partly cloudy, strong winds. We may get some gusts 35 to 40 out of the south on Saturday. You can see the length of the arrows indicating those strong winds with the partly cloudy skies. And then Saturday night, a few widely scattered showers and thunder showers will pass through. You can see that that's 1045 on Saturday. Then they get out of here and we may see a few more perhaps even into Sunday as the front stalls out. But looks like the heaviest of the rain arriving more next week. Severe weather threat will stay south and southwest of here right into early next week the way it looks right now. That's the good news, but we're going to get a two to three inch rain out of this. And again, even though this is going to be Saturday night right through Wednesday, even Thursday, I think the heaviest rain of this whole event will likely fall early next week, namely on Wednesday. And notice some of the totals 2.29 Lafayette up to three in our northwest counties, but it stays warm. Overnight lows in the 50s, highs in the low to mid 60s before it starts to cool off by later next week, Gina. Boy, that still looks nice. It nice does. warm temperatures. Those, those lows are not bad. Not Pretty much the highs we've had recently. Yeah. Perfect. All right, sure. Chad, thank yep. you so much. Well, just ahead, salty snacks.